recording. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Spirit Amen. 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 You have Father given Father us the gift of this new day. Thank you. Thank you for creating us, redeeming us, and for giving us the faith for one thing, to spend time with us. We need your grace, and you deserve our praise. Help us to approach this time with you with a truly docile heart and a mind undimmed by self-centeredness and unhealthy self-absorption. The, the prayer of St. Francis of Assisi. Lord, make me an instrument, an instrument of your of peace. peace. Where there is hatred, hatred. let me hatred. sow love. Where there is, Where there injury, is injury, pardon. pardon. Where there is Where doubt, there is faith. Where there is despair, hope. Yeah, hope. Where there is Where darkness, is darkness light. light. And when there is sadness, joy. joy. O oh, divine, oh, master, divine Master, grant that we grant may that not we may so much seek so to, much be seek to be consoled as to console. console. To be understood as to, to understand. To be loved as to, to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. And it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Amen. Good morning, brother Sun and sister Moon. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. Dear, dear prayer warriors. Very nice prayer. Thank you very much. Um, Tito Mani, good morning, Father, acknowledging the presence of Father Danny. Thank you very much, Father. Good evening, Father. Good evening, Father. Good evening, Father. Good evening, Father, good evening, Father Danny. Gospel. According to Saint Luke, glory, glory to you, to you o Lord. Lord. There was a scholar of the law who stood up to test Jesus and said, "Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life?" Jesus said to him, "What is written in the law? How do you read it?" He said in reply, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your being, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. <clears throat> Reply to him, you have answered correctly. Do this and you will live. But because he wished to justify himself, he said to Jesus, and who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, the man fell victim to robbers as he went down from Jerusalem to Jericho. They stripped him and beat him and went off, leaving half, him half dead. A priest happened to be going down that road, but when he saw him, he passed by on the other, opposite side. Likewise, a Levite came to the place, and when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. But a Samaritan traveler who came upon him was moved with compassion at the sight. He approached the victim, poured oil and wine over his wounds and bandaged them. Then he lifted them, him up on his own animal, took him to an inn and cared for him. The next day he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper with the instruction. Take care of him. If you spend more than what I have given you, I shall repay you on my way back. Which of these three, in your opinion, was the neighbor to the robber's victim? He answered, the one who treated him with mercy. Jesus said to him, go and do likewise.
the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Yeah, We can't hear you, Father. Good morning. Good morning. Good evening, Father. Good evening, Father. Good evening. The prayer of Tito Elmer and the succeeding prayer that was recited, that is uh, the prayer of St. Francis, would be enough for our reflection today. But the gospel would still reinforce who Francis is, because practically he has loved God as he has loved his neighbor. And loving his neighbor, he loved God really. Today in my reflection, I used the opening prayer, which stated at the last part, to give joyful love. And this is Francis. Our giving of love should be always joyful. Our giving of love should be a love that is for the common good for the sake of the other person, because that is the love that Jesus wanted from us. And that would summarize even the first part of the gospel. When we love God with all our heart, with all our being, with all our strength, with all our mind, then we love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Truly a wonderful commandment, but in many ways it's hard to do because more than loving others, we love more ourselves. But the Lord is reminding us today that in St. Francis, he truly loved his neighbor as he loved himself. So much so that his service, his giving of love was always a joyful one. And so just to share some, like as well with a Samaritan man in this gospel, Pericope, where the priest and the Levite went another route, the Samaritan approached that one that was really robbed by the robbers, almost dying. He stopped and he took good care of that one. That was real love. That was charity in action. That is the face of charity. And he see perhaps, or without putting faith, he saw in that man a human person that needs help. But with the one who has faith, it should be seeing that person in the eyes of God so much so that that person could be a face of Jesus, robbed and beaten and everything was done to him. After all, Jesus on the cross and towards the cross, he had the same experience. So the Samaritan man is a paragon for us of how to live and to love our neighbors according to what Jesus had commanded. Putting it the life in Saint, of St. Saint Francis, he did that one. It was a joyful love. First, he detached himself from poverty, from the material things. So much so that beyond his wealth, he knew how to follow the Lord in order that he would be con concentrated, fully immersed in his service for the poor. Well, one day in the story, he was going around. He saw a different life outside the walls of the palace of his father. And he felt compassion. He felt sorry for those poor who are there. And really he decided to let go of everything. Even it was symbolized by the stripping of his clothes and leaving everything in front of his father in order to embrace poverty and to detach himself from material things. And secondly, Francis had embraced the cross of Christ, the suffering. So much so that in his suffering, in his poverty, deprived of anything else, he knew that the cross was his wealth. He knew that the cross was his treasure. He knew that the cross, there was Jesus. And with Jesus on the cross and with him, this is a life for him that is complete. So the sufferings he bore, and even he was given the stigmata, a privileged moment for him because Christ wanted to share his suffering on him. He accepted it even with pain and struggles, but ultimately that was his own way in participating in the redeeming love of God. And so you see the love of oneself, we love ourselves, should be our love for our neighbor. Our suffering could be also seeing the suffering of others. That we say with Paul, 
We cry with those who cry. We weep with those who weep. We smile with those who smile. We laugh with those who laugh because that is our way of being with them, participating in whatever they are experiencing in life. So at the end, what happened to St. Francis? He saw Jesus on the cross. Oh, Jesus on the cross became alive for him, calling him. And that call for him is was another than for me, the reward for those who detach themselves, for those mm -hmm. who embrace the cross, but above all, for those who are joyful in their love, as well as in their giving, as well as in that sense of what they are doing in life. So let us be joyful givers. Let us be joyful in our love. Let us embrace the Lord Jesus, that at the end we too, we may discover the richness or the treasure and the beauty of the cross. Amen. 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 Lord Jesus, thank you for the example of St. Francis. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, thank you for the you example, for the example of St. Francis. And the example of the Samaritan. And the example of the Samaritan. They did not waver. In loving you. In loving you. In their brothers and sisters. In their brothers, their brothers and, sisters and sisters who are truly in need. Who are truly, who are truly, truly in need. They stopped. They stopped. They, stopped. they, they cared. Stopped. They, they cared. cared. They cared. They spent. They spent. They spent. They spent. All in the name of humanity. All in the, in the name of humanity. of humanity. All in the name of a human face. All, all in the name, in the name of, of the human, human face. face. Above all, all in the name of faith. Above, Above all, 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 in all, all in the name of faith. faith. That when the faith is stronger, that when the, when when the faith, faith is stronger, is stronger, love is stronger all the more. Love, love, is, stronger, love is stronger all the more. All the more. And when love is strong, and when love, love, love is strong, strong, faith increases as well. Faith, faith increases as well. It's us, O Lord. It's us, O Lord. To have the same detachment. To have the to same, have the detachment. same detachment. To embrace the cross. To embrace, to embrace the, the cross. cross. Embrace or, the suffering. or suffering. Or suffering. Or suffering. And ultimately. And ultimately. And ultimately allow us to see your face. Allow, Allow us, us to see your face. face. Your face. Amen. 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 Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, 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 Mother, Mother of God, God. Pray, pray for, for us, us now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian, of dear, God, my guardian dear, dear. To whom God's, God's love, love brings me here, ever this day be at my side, and guard to light and guide, to rule and guide, amen. Saints Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel, pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Joseph, pray, pray for us. San Agustin, pray, pray for us. us. Saint Anthony of Padua. Pray, pray for us. Saint Hannibal Maria di Francia. Pray, pray for us. Send, O oh Lord. Your Holy Spirit, the Apostles, Saint 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 and Saint Francis of Assisi. Pray, 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 for, us. pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 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 The Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the, the Son and the, and the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. 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 Good evening. Good evening, thank you, Father. Father. Thank, thank you very much. much. Welcome. Thank you again. Wow. Thank you again. <laughs> Welcome. Okay, lang, Father. Thank you. Ah, very okay, good. Lang. Thank you once again. <laughs> wow, so nice to see you all. Complete nine, ah. <laughs> nicer feeling here, Father, nandito ka. Ah. Give, giving us blessing. Mm. Yes, it's the blessing of the blessing. Lord. Oh. Very nice, ah. It's nice very, to have a blessing, Oy, because Father, you know, ang dami ng lahali na, na namatay. Oh, oh. Mga classmates oh. namin, mga, na mga doktor. Namin, mga teachers. Talaga po. Oo. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
Na COVID pa, Father. Na COVID. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have to be very, very careful, really. Mm -hmm. We have to take good care of ourselves. We have to outlive COVID and not yes. COVID outliving yes. us. Yes. yes. Amen. Oh. Amen. We, with Amen. God's grace, with God's grace. But Amen. we have a victory, Father. We have Tito. a victory in the case of Tito. Tito Robert. Robert, yes. Tito, uh -huh. Tito Robert. Oh, yeah. We have victories too. Yeah, yeah we have so nice. Victories. So yeah. nice to hear that one. So nice to hear. Hmm. Yeah, from Tita Luna. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Sige Sige lang. Lang. Let's keep on praying. Uh -huh. and we Parang keep on life praying. talaga ang buhay. <laughs> <laughs> parang life parang life ang buhay <laughs> parang yung 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 arrival may dating no parang... <laughs> may dating may arrival may departure din sus Maria Ofes yes sige lang that's our life if, yeah, just we'll like continue what, yeah. Yeah, just like what you you said, Father. Now, once we reach the seventy and above, ano na yan? Bonus. Age of wisdom of and God. bonus. Yes, uh -oh. yes. Blessing. Fullness of uh -oh. life. The fullness of life. Fullness of life. Mm -hmm. fullness, of life. So, fullness of life na. So mm -hmm. okay lang. Sige lang. Yeah, that's good. Uh, We're <laughs> you know it's always we are always in the hands and plan of God. Important, yeah. we cooperate in his plan. So well, when we wake up every day, we thank him for that. Mm -hmm. I guess yeah. that's the beauty of that, you know. And then longing to see each other because its face is the face of God. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And looking that's forward to hear your, your ano, Father, your, your insight. <laughs> yes. yes. We, we will be always. Yeah. <laughs> So nice. Always looking forward. <laughs> parang kagabi na tagalan kayo like sana, no? Parang night, may ano pa no? kayo. <laughs> very nice ah. discussion, oh. Father. Ay, nice kag kagabi, very, very nice discussion. Nyo, very, very, very nice. Na, no? nice. Oh. Yeah, it was nice. It was nice, really. It was really nice, and then it's a uh, an hour and eighteen minutes. Yes. Uh -oh. And that's uh, still short. And that's... Uh -oh. <laughs> after that, parang you had still your moment of prayer with your group. Yes. Oh, <laughs> talagang, <laughs> talagang very faithful, very faithful and dedicated. <laughs> very so dedicated. So nice. So nice. Malaki yata ang pinayaran ni Tita MJ, one hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> okay lang kasi nag-promise ka naman na mag-donate ka, di ba? <laughs> wow. <laughs> bonus din, bonus. Bonus din. <laughs> Pero talaga very nice. One of our best um uh, ano yeah, kahapon. sharing yan now. Uh, sharing. sharing. Yes. sharing. Uh, everything yeah. is coming from it it was everything was coming from the heart, Father. The heart, no yes, pretense, uh, nothing like like hmm. like we were like like saying like here I am hmm. with here I am take me or leave me. Yes. No pretense talaga. Hmm. Yeah. And they're, so, the, they're all. The, the treasure mm -hmm. of each other. The treasure of each other. Yes. So. Because the sharing comes from, came from the deepest recesses of one's heart. Yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. Thank you and very you, much for those you who did share. Thank you so much, Father. And thank you oh, very much, Father. Po, Tita, and... Thank you din po, Tita. Uh -huh. Thank you Uh, we have to thank each other because, you know, yung maganda doon, yung sharing ng bawat isa is really a treasure. Yes. It would be nice even a once a month, we can have that one, no? Example, one Sunday. Yeah. We can prolong yeah. meal. Parang feedbacking natin about the gospel or, you know, experience uh -huh. natin about the experience, gospel. Experience, uh -huh. Yeah, it would be nice. Testimonies. Yeah, like, uh -huh. Testimonies. Yes, uh -huh. Testimonies. Parang galit. Last Sunday of the month, parang parang ganon gawin natin, so, sort of that. Oh yeah, that's that, that would oh, be we nice. Can, we can uh -huh. we yeah. can spend uh -huh. a little time, kasi or anong araw wala kayong work na that would you could be more free para you would not be running, for example, Saturday or uh -huh. Sunday, no? Oh, wala, wala kasi kasi weekend. kung minsan Saturday, kung minsan weekend nag nag wala ako kung minsan. May, 
Ako rin, um, we, mga weekend, weekend partner, work, no? either uh-huh. Saturday, Sunday din ako. Free? Are... No, work. Hindi. Ah, you have work? Paminsan-minsan nag-work. Paminsan, oo. Oh. Ah. Kaya Basta we'll, so we'll, we'll set na lang for a day na everybody yeah, will be will, Yeah, we will, yeah, we will, um, we will schedule. Yes. Usually what Tuesday, so, today ako father free. Pero work Tuesday. naman Tuesday. sa MJ, oo. Oh. Uh-huh. 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 Thursday. Hanap na lang tayo na uh-huh. where everybody is around. Uh-huh. Sige, sige. Uh-huh. One time, Would Father, nice. nag-testimony si, si, si Ann, Tita Ann, nag-testimony siya Opa. ng personal, mm-hmm. personal experience siya. Uh, mm-hmm. We have like uh, more than 80 viewers. And that's re- wow. ready a lot. Huh? Oh, that's Oo, very yung good. Testi- oh, yung testimony niya. Huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, yun ang, that's ano, very good. Hey, Tita Ann. Life story. <laughs> Life story. <laughs> that was really ah. beautiful. Beautiful. So, so nice. Very good. <laughs> ah, the more of that, the better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Personal, ano, personal experience, personal encounter. Mm-hmm. Personal encounter. And that's, that's more enriching than kasi. Yes. Huh? Oh, that's very um, enriching yung mga ganung uh, sharing. Oo, oh, yun ang ano yun ang charismatic uh, ano charismatic uh, prayer meeting after the gospel reading, tapos reflection and then kung sino diyan ang mag-share ng personal experience niya either uh, either um uh, connected to the gospel or to, or to this reading or first reading any any reading or just a personal experience that they need to ano j- to glorify His name, really. To glorify God. Kasi In marami, other words, Tita MJ, we call that one also as Lectio Divina. Oh, okay. Oh, div- uh, divine reading. Divine, so from, uh-huh. from the gospel that is explained, so there are responses for that. And mm-hmm. they, it ends with a prayer as well. So oh. that, that's nice as well. Because that's the encounter of the word. In yes, it's uh-uh. one. Because uh-huh. uh, as, as we go as we go along, Father, but we the faith becomes so so deep na, or or deeper, mm-hmm. and then we recognize a little little things like in daily life. We recognize oh, this is the this is the hand of the Lord. This is divine providence. Yeah, Ang definitely. Oh. Ito, oh, yeah. Up ng, definitely. Ano, ng divine providence. Ako, mm-hmm. I have to re- really, really practice on that. Kasi ang iba mm-hmm. is everyday life, like mag-pick up nila na, oh, praise the Lord um, because of this and this, you know. They are the so-called then, charismatic putita. Siguro tayo mga asthmatic pa, kaya na. <laughs> <laughs> we are... <laughs> We are, we, are, we are still the asthmatic one. Kaya <laughs> hindi natin. <laughs> Natawa si Tumani. Ang ganda, ang ganda ng tawa si Tumani. Hangin lumalabas. Ang tawa ko siya nakakahiya all out. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <Smart>. nice. <laughs> Very good. Mag- oh, so take care all. Na See you. Uh-huh. Sige, yes, father. One, 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 well, the gospel is a little bit long, but uh, I, b- I believe Father Danny have said everything already, have covered everything. Well, as, as I see in the first verses, there is really eternal life, you know, because the, the young scholar asked Jesus, what must I do to inherit eternal life? So it is proven here that there is really eternal life, life in the least. And what must we do? Say, so say that it's not enough to just obey the commandment. See? Commandments here are su- summarized love of God and love of neighbor. And uh, 
we must show concretely how to love our neighbor, not just say we love our neighbor, but we must show. And who is our neighbor? Everybody. People in your neighborhood, people in the streets, the homeless, people living in the sidewalks, they are our neighbors. And uh, this uh, pandemic now is a test on how we really love our neighbor. We really care for them. In the parable, there were three people, priests, the Levite, the Samaritan, and only the Samaritan answer to that call, care for the neighbor. The two, or they just walk on the opposite side of the street. And here God, Jesus is giving us an example how to love our neighbor. Everybody who needs our help is our neighbor. And we cannot just turn a blind eye on the <clears throat> suffering now. We are experiencing everybody <coughs> suffering. That's all I can say. Amen. 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 Moving forward as a rejoinder to the money, the gospel calls that Jesus wants us to leave. Jesus responds to the curious scholar who correctly answered his own question should fill us the hope, do this and you will leave. Yes, a life, the full life, a meaningful life, a fulfilling life, isn't that the deepest desire of every human heart? And I did so. And even right now, I ask the Lord, just give me one moment. So this is, isn't that the desire we find at the core of every other desire? All the choices we make, all the decisions and sacrifices we make are made because we think that they will help us live life more fully, more satisfactorily, more happily. This core desire of ours is also Christ's core desire for us. As he said, I come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. John 10, 10. John chapter 10, verse 10. I come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. He created us he wrote this core desire into the depths of our soul. He wants to satisfy. In fact, that's why he came to earth to give us the light <clears throat> and the grace to know and to follow that path, the Christ path. 
nothing really matters. How firmly do I believe that? I have shown that myself in my own personal testimony of my life. How courageously am I willing to give that direction to my daily life? The second portion that I would like to take up in the gospel is, who is my neighbor? Again, the scholar questioned Jesus. And we actually wished to justify himself. He wanted to show how much he knew. Yabang. He wanted to show off. And he wasn't really interested in the truth. He was interested in making a good impression. And yet, Jesus took advantage of the conversation to give the world one of his most unforgettable parable. The parable of the Good Samaritan. He linked the two great loves, the love of God and the love of neighbor in one great commandment. And then he clarified what he meant by neighbor. If he, want, if he want to experience the fullness of life, all we need to do is follow this teaching of the double love. Usually, that person is very close. Yes, that person is very close to us, as close as he was to the priest and the Levite. The roads were not wide in those days and the half-naked victim was so close that a passerby like him could easily see the color of his eye. Only the Samaritan, the foreigner, actually had the, the mercy on this man. The others ignored him, avoiding him of all the people close to me the people I see and interact with every day. With ones do I truly see? All people are in need of love, of acceptance, of being treated like the children of God they truly are. And yet, how easy it is for our own fears, concerns, preoccupation, to make us blind and insensitive. Frank questions to all the doctors. If you are treading on top of the mountains and you see a person dying on the road, do you think you will stop? You have no medicine, you got nothing. Do you think you'll stop and heal yeah. that person it's for you to answer? It happened to me too. And in the mountains where Father Danny came from in Haniwai, on top of that Mount Agmanapau, while moving from one barrio to another, suddenly, we have the man dying. Somebody stab him or whatever. It's so hard. So we have to call the nearest police to pick him up and give him a good position. We have little water, yes. We clean the wounds. That's all we can do. Neighbors, neighbors did not are not around. Yes, 
we tend to be blind and sensitive sometimes. Again, who are our neighbors? They are the people right next to us, our family members and our colleagues. And yes, even perhaps the actual next door neighbors. And there are, these are the ones who have the nearest claim. Now, our mission starts. Today, we celebrate the life of St. Francis of Assisi, who reached out in love to all God's creation, the witness of life, helped renew the church of the 12th century and set it in motion in charism that over the centuries has motivated thousands of lives of praise, sacrifice, and service. The scriptures came alive for St. Francis of Assisi. His carefree youth was radically changed by Jesus' call. And he renounced his personal possessions and redirected this life to evangelical poverty and preaching. If you have seen Brother Sun, Sister Moon, St. Francis of Assisi and Sister Claire, you will appreciate what we were talking about. But let me cut short. In one of our mission, in one of my mission with the Catholic hierarchy, I was sent to Negros. So I started with, with the Bishop of Bacolod, uh, Bishop Portich. And then I saw Father Halandoni with all the radical left. And I said, something is going wrong here. But I move on, said hello to my friends from the radical left. And again, that's when I adopted my nom, nom de guerre, which is Joey Diaz. And now with the instruction, I was set out, I set out for Canlaon City, passing through La Carlota, and on top of Canlaon City, I took refuge with the Franciscans and learn how the Franciscans live. So I, we use their parish for the meetings of all the Catholic youth in the city of Canlaon. And from there, the Franciscan asked me to go down to Gihulngan and work in Gihulngan. And I was still a student. In the middle of my work with Gihulngan, in Gihulngan, I was asked to go to Bai City and fight for the sugarcane workers because they were mistreated by their sugarcane owner, the Montenegros. I was there with the farmers. Again, in the life there inside the community, I see the, the rule of life that was written by St. Francis, where he founded, and from there he founded numerous communities of religious men and women. He lived to the age of 44, sharing the call of Jesus to reach out to and serve those in need. He served as a prime example for, for Pope Francis. Yes, from the call of Jesus to St. Francis, 
rebuild my church. Today, Jesus and St. Francis challenge us to generously build God's kingdom. We are challenged by illness, COVID, violence, selfishness, poverty, hunger, hopelessness, injustice, and so on. All of which call us out, as did the injured victim on the road to Jericho in today's gospel. As faith-filled disciples, love for all creation is to be at the heart of our lives, clothed in simplicity and humility, which characterize in the age of St. Francis, our 21st century challenge. The mission starts now. Amen. 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 Thank you, Tito Elmer. May we have the three pointers, Tita Lynn? <clears throat> the three pointers for today's gospel. Number one, Jesus uses the parable of the Good Samaritan to explain the real meaning of love of neighbor and to show the extent of God's love and mercy for all. Number two, Jesus' story tells us that true love for one's neighbor means we must be willing to help others in need for their sake, regardless of who they are. Mere words of empathy but no action to help them are not enough. Number three, when we are able to reach out to others with love because we see the face of Christ in them, we will understand more clearly what love of neighbor as commanded by Jesus is all about. Amen. 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 Okay. Closing prayer. Italinda, I really appreciate your daily work to prepare a summary. It's easy to make a long one, but hard to summarize. Thank you, thank you. Ita Bell, your prayer or your song We'll have the song. There's a nice song. Song of St. Francis of Assisi. Yeah. Till you come and sit 
So I would like to say good night and good morning to all our warriors. Bring the good news to your respective threads. Amen. My prayers for all of you. Be safe always. Thank you. God bless us Amen. All. Likewise, Amen. likewise, Mother Elmer. Amen. God bless. Thank you. God, God bless. bless.